Hi there, what's your name? Charlie. Hi Charlie, I'm uh, Mark Easton. I'm uh, Dr. Hackenwood's assistant. I'm just going to be setting up this camera today here just to get that in position here. There we go. Uh, yeah, the doctor likes to film uh, all the episodes and all his um, scenes because that way he can go back and review it if uh, anything goes wrong during the treatment or if something for some reason doesn't work out, he can always go back to the tapes for physical evidence and therefore improve his treatment and his therapy for next time. So I'm just going to let this camera roll here. I'm setting it up here and uh, that's basically it. I just came in to set this up, introduce myself, and then Dr. Peckinwood is going to be in about a minute or so. Okay. So you're in good hands and that's it. It will not be painful. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. So, uh, see Charlie is your name here. I see this on my sheet. So, a uh, pleasure to meet you, Charlie. So, what can I do for you today? I, I have uh, pr problems with uh, you know, believing in myself and... Confidence. Yes. I have Confidence, I see. We get that. Uh, very often here. It's a problem of young girls, you know. A lot of pressure in society. You know, girls have to be confident to get that job, to get into school. It's a lot, a lot of pressure, you know. But we can help you out for sure. Um, maybe a couple sessions, two, three sessions. And um, after that, we'll probably get you uh, up and rolling, you know. Get you believing in yourself, achieving your dreams, and uh, being. Uh, all that you want to be. So, um, so that's about it. It's quite simple. The sessions don't last uh, very long. It's like half an hour um, after this, and um, that's about it. So, why? Why did you choose uh, hypnotism? Have you ever done hypnotism before? No, I never did. But I heard that it's it. It goes better than just you know, talk about your problems with someone that uh, really don't care. And yeah, yeah. Well, hypnotism. You know, a lot of people put hypnotism down because they think it's kind of creepy. They think it's stupid. But a lot of people, you know, actually use it. And um, like I said, you know, it's uh, it's something that uh, is gaining ground into the general population. That works for a lot of people. You know, like for myself, I work with professional athletes. Um, to make him more confident, you know, to believe in, in themselves. I've worked with actors, actresses, uh, prime ministers of countries. Uh, I've worked with a lot of people, and um, and like I said, you know, and but they don't want they don't want to tell people that they've been under hypnosis because again, society has um, put a bad name into uh, into hypnotism. So basically, um, that's about it, you know. Uh, if you have any other questions or um, about the, the project, I want to know how old are you? I'm 18. You're 18, so you're fairly young. How long have you struggled with uh, your confidence? I, I, I never believed in myself, and I, even, I always had problems with confidence. Even uh, as a girl, as a young yeah. little girl. Okay, even in school. I've always been shy. And you're a shy person, yes. Well, like I said, you know, maybe this will take more than one session to do. Um, but if it doesn't, like I said, the first session, you pay full price. Um, and my fee for uh, this type of uh, session is uh, $200 per session. Um, but all the extra sessions we'll do, I'll give them to you half price. So um, $100 for every next session. So, you know, because I want, you know, I could be charging a lot more, you know, because... I charge a lot more to people who have more money, but to the general population, you know, I want to help people, so I try to make my prices affordable to, um, you know, at least to make some kind of money, but so can so people can also, um, you know, profit from this uh, from my talent if you want, you know. I've been uh, I've been doing hypnotism for over ten years now, so yeah, very long. I've uh, I, I where have you studied? Oh, uh, I studied in Vienna. You know, at the Freud the Freud Institute, yes, yes, in Vienna for uh, for a long time. You know, it's a five-year program. 
So people take this uh, seriously, you know, it's not like, uh, and a lot of people, you know, other hypnotists, you know, they, that haven't gone to Vienna, I wouldn't recommend pers personally, because it's, um, they're not really getting a good uh, schooling if you want, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of iffy. So I always tell people, I encourage people for hypnotism, but you better make sure the credentials, as you see there on the, on the wall, my, uh, my uh, my diploma is there on the wall. That that nice uh, black one there is uh, from the Vienna. So that's what I do. Like I said, I've been doing this for uh, over 10 years. I've been moving from city to city, from New York to Los Angeles. I've done some stuff in Vienna. So um, I go, I travel quite a lot, you know. I was actually uh, part of uh, one uh, prime minister's uh, chief of staff. I was in the staff just to help him, hypnotize him and his whole staff to um, become uh, more confident and to uh, run a better government also. So, like I said, you know, I have uh, some pretty good uh, experience in this field and um, I wish I could help you. I, I hope so. So are you interested in uh, pursuing this? Yeah. So you're interested. Uh, when would you be uh, ready to start? Uh, now. Right now? Yeah. Um, Okay, I think I could uh, probably do something right now. Um, I'll just, uh, I'll call my assistant and now uh, we can start. Okay. okay, is that good with you? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Mr. Easton? Yes, Dr. Packenwood. Can you please uh, bring uh, my instruments? Right away, Dr. Packenwood. Thank you. So we're just going to wait for the instruments. Uh, you met my assistant, uh, Mr. Yeah. Easton. Yeah, he said, he said the camera. Oh, the camera, yes. Like I said, this camera we uh, mostly use um, for, um, you know, to videotape my sessions in case it doesn't work the first time. You can always, uh, I can always look at the tape, see what went wrong, and analyze the situation. And um, it just makes me a better doctor, if you want. So. And if ever something happens, you know, people, you know, you know how people are sometimes, they try to sue you, try to get a quick buck, you can always look at the tape and tell them, you know, uh, that no funny business has gone on or anything. Okay. Here we are, Dr. Packenwood. Oh, there you are, Mr. Easton. Thank you a lot. You've met Charlie, of course. Yes, I set up the camera. She yes, before. so, um, okay, you can close the door right now. Okay. Shall I hold all your calls for this afternoon? Um, We'll see for now. Okay. Okay, just keep. Uh, keep the calls coming. Okay. Maybe we can do something later on. Very good. All right. Thanks. Okay. Now, first off, Charlie, um, I want to see. I want to see you uh, relax right now. Just are you relaxed? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna use uh, my special watch here. I know a lot of people think this is corny, um, but gold is. I like gold. To use real gold since uh, people, the glitters of the gold, people seem to concentrate more because of the shining light on the glitters on the gold. So um, I like to use real gold as a, as a mean to hypnotize people. So right now what I want you to do is to think of a place, somewhere where you, you're relaxed. It could be a beach, it could be a park, it could be um, anything you want. Maybe something fantasy or maybe something that you were already, um, you already been relaxed, like I said, a trip, anything you want. Do you have that place in your mind there, Charlie? Yeah. Can you tell me what it is? Yeah, it's a beach. It's a beach? Yeah. Where is this beach? In uh, Mexico. Mexico. Okay. There's a nice sun outside? Yeah. And you're alone on this beach? Yeah, I'm all alone and uh, it's like the night is coming. The night is coming. The sun goes down. And what are you doing on this beach? You're just relaxing. Yeah. You're reading the book, no? Watching the sea and. Just watching the sea. You're hearing the sea and the waves splash on the shore. Uh, the, the wind. And the wind in your hair. Relaxing, thinking. Okay, perfect. This is very important for me to start the hypnosis. <coughs> so, for one, what I want you to do is to first look at my watch, okay? I want you to concentrate on this watch as much as possible, all right? And just listen to my voice, okay? 
So just look at the watch. Just look at the watch. Just look at the watch. Okay, concentrate on the watch, Charlie. Just concentrate on the watch. Now I want you to look at that watch. Just look at its motion, going from left to right. Concentrate on that watch, Charlie. Now I want you to think about that place, that special place of yours in Mexico. As the sun is coming down and you're relaxing, just listen to my voice as I'm telling you this story. Just relax, Charlie. Take deep breaths. Breathe in from your nose. Breathe out from your mouth. Just relax and think about that place, about that special place in Mexico with the winds splashing on your hair and the waves splashing on the beach. Just relax. I want you to relax now, Charlie. Just listen to my voice. Just relax. You can close your eyes, it's okay. Yes, just relax. Just think about that place. You're all alone on that beach. With no care in the world. Just you alone on that beach. Just thinking about yourself. Just you in that place alone. With the wind in your hair. Waves splashing. Just you alone. Relax. Just listen to my voice. You're relaxing. You're in a deep state of relaxation right now, Charlie. You're feeling more and more comfortable. You're feeling that things get more and more heavier, your legs, your arms, your head, your head is heavy, leave it go, yes, just relax, just listen to my voice, everything is wonderful, everything is relaxing, just listen to my voice, now Charlie, I'm going to count to ten, and when I say sleep, you'll sleep, you'll be in a deep state of sleep, be in a deep state of relaxation. You won't know all that's gonna happen. You're just gonna be in a deep state of sleep, but always respond to my voice. You'll always be responding to my voice, as my voice will be the only thing that you'll hear. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Listen to my voice. Three. Come in more and more relax. Two. We're starting to go in this deep state of sleep. One. And sleep. Listen to my voice, Charlie. I want you to relax right now. Just listen to my voice. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yes, that's right, Charlie. Relax. I want you to relax here. Yeah, let's see. Yes, you're in a deep state of relaxation, Charlie. You're in a deep state of sleep. I want you to relax right now. You are comfortable. You're in Mexico. You are in... Yes. What a nice ass. Looks better naked, though. You know? Now I want you to sit down, Charlie, and relax. Stand on that chair. Relax. 
close your eyes and relax. And when I say sleep, you will sleep. Yes. Okay, Charlie. Now, you have no self-confidence. We're going to change that right now. I will count to ten. After I'm done counting to ten, you'll become a more confident person. You will believe in yourself. You will do better at school. You will get better jobs. You'll be a better person. Ten. You have more confidence in you, Charlie. More and more confidence. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. When I clap my fingers, Charlie, you will wake up and be a more confident person. Four. You're starting to believe in yourself more and more. Three. Just listen to my voice. Two. Becoming already more confident. One, you're going to leave this office the most confident person that you know. And one. Wake up, Charlie. Wake up. How are you, Charlie? I'm fine, thank you. Good. How did it go? This one well? Yeah, I feel a bit tired, but. Feel a bit tired? Okay. Well, it's a very tiring process uh, being under hypnosis. It takes a lot of uh, energy, it takes a lot of. Uh, of glucose and fructose to make all that energy work and um, that's about it Charlie so I'm tired too it takes a lot out of me you know it's not an easy job so now you um, you've met my assistant Mark Easton mm -hmm. you can uh, pay him at the door and um, hopefully this will work but if it doesn't don't hesitate to call me and we'll do this again real soon okay thank you very much doctor no problem Bye. Bye. Yes, please take your purse. Great, great.